Hi, I'm Selma Benoan, and I'm going to be pre presenting the complete task three in Python code. So let's keep in mind what task three is asking for. It's the end of the day. Display the number of passengers that traveled on each train journey and the total money collected taken for each train journey. Calculate and display the total number of passengers and the total amount of money taken for the day. Find and display the train journey with the most passengers that day. So essentially, we want to make this kind of table, which is going to show the train time, how many tickets you know were left because we have you know trains up tickets and trains down tickets. Calculate how many passengers went on each train and calculate how much money was collected for each train journey. Once we know the number of passengers on each train, we're going to find the total number of passengers. So we're going to run a totaling algorithm. And we're also going to find an algorithm to find the train with the most passengers. So it's a maximum number algorithm. And of course, we need to have the total money collected from the entire day. And this is a little side note. If on the IGCSE exam, they ask you give a constant for task three, you could have the number 480 and 640. These are numbers that never change. They represent the initial number of tickets on the nine o'clock train, 10 o'clock train, 11 o'clock train, 12 o'clock train, 13 o'clock train, 14 o'clock and 15 o'clock train. So the initial number of tickets is 480. For the 16 o'clock train, the initial number of tickets at the start of the day is 640. Let's look at the code that we had in the last video. So in the last video, we had a for loop and this code was used to make sure that trains up tickets and trains down tickets arrays only contain integer numbers and they no longer contain the word closed had they been changed from the integer zero to the word closed. So this for loop just changed any strings closed back to integer. Next, we added two new arrays, passengers up, and it's an integer array, 0, 0, 0, passengers down, 0, 0, 0, 0. And we also add a new variable called total passengers. These two arrays are going to hold how many passengers went on each train. After that, we have this for loop and these statements under the for loop. These statements are the purpose of this for loop and these statements is to store how many passengers went on each train ride. So basically, these statements compare trains up tickets. They go 480 minus trains up tickets. This is going to be equal to passengers up, you know, and the same is done for passengers down. After that, we found the total money taken. Again, we also printed the total number of passengers and the total money collected for the day. And here is the output from the last video. So you know, when we pressed no, that task two was finished, we were able to show the total passengers on all the train rides, and we were all able to show the total money collected for that day. So there are a couple of steps. There are two steps missing, and we're going to easily be able to complete these steps in these videos. We've already prepared all the arrays and all the variables we needed in the last videos. The two steps are we need to show the total money taken for each train journey, and we also need to find and display the train journey with the most passengers that day. So we're just going to add a little bit to the previous task three. This is the previous task three that we looked at, and we're going to add these two loops. So we have this top loop. It's just to be able to display the money collected on each train journey. It's a for loop, which is going to print the train up times, the passengers up and the trains up money, and it's also going to print the trains down times, the how many passengers went on all the trains going down the mountain, and how much was collected on each train journey going down the mountain. This final bit, which many people have been waiting for, is a loop to show which train had the most passengers. This loop is a finding the largest or finding the maximum algorithm. So first, we're going to find the maximum, the most passengers on the trains that are going up the mountain, then we're going to find which train had the most passengers on the trains going down the mountain. We're going to compare those two. And finally, we're going to output, you know, you know, the train that had the most passengers. Please note this algorithm does not take into account if there's a tie. If you want to do that, you would just add an elif. But the specification or the question did not ask you to take into account for a tie. So I did not do that. So we have our four variables, most up equals zero, most down equals zero. This will 
count how many passengers were the most. So let's say there was 200 passengers on the nine o'clock train, most up would be 200. I also need to store the index. So I need index up most and index down most. I run a for loop for count in range 0, 4. If passengers up of count is greater than most up, now my index up most is going to be count. Same thing for the trains going down the mountain for count in range 0, 4. If passengers down of count is greater than most down, I need to store index down most is equal to count. And now I have this if statement to check. If passengers up of index up most is greater than passengers down of index down most, print the train with the most passengers is trains up times of index up most, else print the train with the most passengers is trains down times of index down most. If you run this program, for example, I had the 9 o'clock train had 480 passengers total that day, the 11 o'clock train had 100, and the 16 o'clock train had 50, 580 passengers that day. So it showed me also the total passengers of the whole day. It also showed me the total money collected. And this is a table that shows the train times, passengers on each train journey, and money collected on each train journey. And it says that the train with the most passengers is the 16 o'clock train. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you need anything else. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.